Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video and I know box bases are everywhere. So I thought let's do a video on how to beat box bases with every single strategy which is out there and we're starting things off with Queen Shot Hybrid. As you might have seen already right now, um, kind of off I'm trying to charge the town hall with the Queen Shot Hybrid. But what this box basis does is so well, it's teasing you into the town hall. Because the town looks like, it looks so free. It looks so, so free to get, so why would you not just queen shot around it? But that's the problem. That's the bait. Because all of those traps are on the other side around the around the heroes. Spring traps, giant bombs, um, skeleton traps, Tesla, and so on. Most of those traps are on the other side of the town hall, which is making your life of a hybrid not that nice so what we're doing instead is something different a different approach if you want to say um and we're going to charge that multi phone tower that's our main goal sometimes your queen is going to go into the multi phone tower compartment but even if the queen is going to go into the outside compartment she's still going to reach that multi phone tower which is so clutch to get because what you're going to get with this one is you're going to create cr crazy crazy nice pathing for your hybrid just straight to the core and then sending in the king and the siege barracks into the tunnel that's the idea in general for us on this example right now i did not really follow that king so well the king the king should have walked into the tunnel compartment but instead that's the perfect showcase as well because this is like the worst case what could happen the king walked inside the king is now smashing the single front tower which is great don't get me wrong but the town hall needs to go down. The town needs to go down and this is now where the hawk rides are coming in. So even the plan B, if you want to call it like this, the plan B is now coming into play. We're going to take down the town hall and with this we can just overpower the back end because the healers are switching over. My queen is dying but that's what she's doing. And we have those healers. They switched over, provided some nice healing before they uh, went down. But this is all what we need. With the Roche ability, we're going to finish off this base nice and easy. And you have this fish tower with the Roid. Like with the Queen Judge Hybrid. With the Royal Gem to finish things off. So first, Queen Judge Hybrid. Check. This is how you can approach those bases. Queen Shot from the other side. Create the pathing into the core of the space. And using the King of the Siege, Siege Barracks for the Town Hall. Next setup. Pekka Smash and Super Bowler Smash. Those attacks are using the same entry. And what you're going for is a pretty, pretty quick Warden Walk. The only things what you want to get is like the outside buildings. Maybe if there's an air defense, you want to have the air defense as well. For us, there is a Wizard Tower. But as I said, like whatever is in this second layer, if it's threatening your healers or dealing a lot of damage, like Expos or whatsoever, you want to get it. If there's a Wizard Tower, maybe a cannon, you don't care. The next thing is you're sending in the king with the witches into the 3 o'clock compartment. You're going to wall break the king further into the base. And then you're going to send the super bowler smash, the Pekka smash, whatever, whatever you're using into the core of the base, into the heart of the base and send the blimp into the town hall. It's always going to work with that rage that you're going to take down the town hall. The bowlers, the super wizards, whatever you're using are going to smash everything in the core. Adding the royal champion with your king is crucial to give just a little bit more, a bit more power to the push on the outside because they have to survive and make sure that cleanup is getting started. So the royal champion is going to finish off the multi front tower. The witches are staying alive to clean things up nicely. And the super bowlers, they're staying alive forever because those healers are going to make the life of those super bowlers. And the it, it's so easy. It's so free to get this then at the end. So at this point, yeah, everything is already pretty much dead off the base. We have the healers staying alive. We have one invisibility spell, which is not going to change too much because this base is already down. But we're going to use it anyways. We have to clean up witches. We have to clean up wizards. We have cleaned up everything and this is the end of this base. So yeah, with box bases you want to push into the scatter compartment which is most of the time the weak spot for most strategies. Not only Pekka Smash or like Super Bowlers are abusing this fact, most of the strategies are using this weakness. So let's move forward, let's jump to the next attack. We have a couple of more strategies left which we're going to go through step by step. And the next one is going to be Air Spam. Air Spam and E-Dragons use the same approach on this base. What are they doing? First off, you want to create some sort of funnel because what we queen charged earlier today with our queen and hybrid 
This time you want to flip things around. This time you want to flip things around. You want to have those dragons, those dragon riders and whatever you're using getting spammed into this bottom side. And then you want to have your heroes though walking around towards the town hall. Which is going to work anyways because the king can wall break itself with the yak into the town hall compartment if the compartment is closed. And otherwise your queen is going to finish off the town hall. On this one though, this is already the worst case base for this specific attack. Because there was an expo which completely shredded the HP of our queen, which is not the optimal thing. So we're losing the queen ability really early, which is not good for us. We're trying to freeze the tunnel with the single phone tower, which did not work. But still, we're going to take down the tunnel, which is the key thing. And with this, we can just keep raging wherever it's needed for our end. I'm going to use the rage for the royal champion for the dragons, which are pushing towards the expo and the scatter. Um, and with this, there's nothing left because our queen is going to take down the Lava Hound with the poison. That's no problem. No problem to deal with that. And then the Royal Champ with all those dragons on the top left side are going to finish off this base. So we can see already how you approach those type of bases with the air spam. Because I see so many, like I see so often that people are using that blimp to secure the town hall. Which I feel like on those compact bases, it's... You lose a lot of power because this slammer is providing so much tankiness, so much, so much power. And obviously what is inside this clan castle, inside the slammer is giving you even more power for your main push. So just having this slammer with your main push is super, super important. And then you can just push through, get some more value and then finish off the base like I'm doing right now. We have those dragons finishing off the gold storage and they should easily close in on this thing and throwing tower to finish that as well. Even though it's getting kind of close with all of those red bombs, I have to admit. But hey, a three stars, a three star. And as I said, this was already the worst possible setup of a box base against us. But hey, let's move forward. We have two more strategies to go. First one is going to be a Queen Charge base strategy, which is Queen Charge Dragon Riders, Queen Charge Lalo, Queen Charge Rocket Loons, whatever you're going to use with a Queen Charge, which is really concentrating on the Queen Charge, like not Queen Charge Hybrid, because Queen Charge Hybrid is like having two phases with the Hybrid, with the um with the queen charge where you have to split the spells but when you have, when you have something where you can really concentrate on your queen charge quite a bit you can use those type of charges so what you're doing pretty much you want to charge into the scatter compartments with queen charging those scatter compartments you're getting a lot of access not only towards the scatter itself but as well to the core if you keep wall breaking into the base you have a lot of wall breaks with this armor composition whichever you're using uh, which is really solid and really, really important for you. And then the next one might surprise you, but this blimp is actually super OP. This blimp is really important because what it does, it gives you the um, the first the po uh, possibility of looting out the clan castle. That's the first nice thing. And the second thing is already pushing your queen into the core of the base. Meanwhile, taking away the damage which could be on your king. Because the king is finally supposed to take down the town hall. If there would be still like a couple of... I don't know, like a couple of archer towers left where the king could get distracted, this would be obviously a bad thing. So yeah, now moving forward, having the king already on the outside, queen is keep diving into this, into this base, and then we're going uh, to go for this wall break. With this wall break, we can open up a huge part of this base. And yes, um, depending on the setup of the core of the base you're attacking, this wall break is not always giving the access to every single fern tower. But even if that's not the case, what you can do with this one, you can add the Royal Champion for pushing behind the town hall. So kind of between the town hall and between, um, uh, sorry, between the king and the queen. That's pretty much where you want to have the Royal Champion to go. If you cannot reach that single fern tower, for example. But that's, as I said, depending on the base at the end again. Then, king is supposed to take down the town hall for us. I was really like, um... Yeah, having a big problem because, again, I really try to show you always the worst case possible scenario because on this base, all of the traps are around the town hall, which typically, typically you see them on the other side of the town hall, right? Like around the heroes to make them even more stronger. But with this setup, he had a lot of traps around the town hall um, on this base and this is why the king got a little bit close. But still, we're going to make this work because we have now the royal champion. Pushing in with the Lalo, tanking that scatter, which is really nice. T tanking the scatter shot. And now the backhand Lalo is just pushing through. The queen is staying alive as well. Backhand sniping this air defense with a couple of more loons. And then going to finish off the base. With this being said, there's only one strategy left, which we still want to talk about of those top strategies. And we're going to talk about it in just a couple of seconds. And it is going to be 
the Blizzard Lalo. I feel like Blizzard Lalo, at least on most of the bases which I have seen, it feels really easy because what you're doing pretty much is you're just sending in a blimp for the town hall. And you're not investing much. You're investing one invisibility spell and one rage. That's it. Just take down the town hall with this and try to load the clan castle if possible as well, if that's in range. That's kind of really important to be honest. Otherwise, you might need to set up a different, but a lot of those um, bases have the clan castle really close to the town hall. So go for the town hall, go for a cheap blimp if you want to call it like this, because we have still a lot of invisibility spells left. We have a lot of like, we have still all of our, our three hounds still left. We have a lot of our loons still left. We only use one loon, the blimp and a rage and invisibility spell. That's it. Not too much of an investment. So what this means for us now, I try to create like a um, Royal Champion charge. This is what I feel like on those bases where a lot of things are in the core, which are really important. I feel like this is working incredible well. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to push this Royal Champ into the core of the space, into the heart of the space, into the Xbox, into the single Inferno Tower and everything. Why do I use the invisibility spell earlier? I try to keep the damage of Lassie. Because if I use, if I don't use those uh, invisibility spells early, I would just lose last year really early on, on, and this is just less damage which I can dish out overall. So so far so good. Royal Champ should get a bit more of uh, value right there, Queen ability. So you can see already, even though we did not get that much great value of the of the Blizzard, saving our spirits for the Royal Champion charge at the end is really really valuable. So now we're just sitting in the ladder. The cool thing now is we have one air defense left and we have over three uh, three hounds. That's the right number. We have three hounds to push in and tank all of the damage. Tank all of the damage. Tank the warden. Tank the scatter. Tank the expo. Tank the ego. Tank whatever you want with those three hounds and then warden ability to cover all of those runes and the most important thing cover those two headhunters. Those headhunters need to take down the defending heroes, queen and royal champion, otherwise you have not the biggest chance of competing. Um, but yeah, as you're taking those out and as you're using those last couple of freezes and spells for your Lalo, you're looking good, it's looking easy, and that's how you can three star those type of faces with Blizzard Lalo. I really hope that I was able to share a couple of um, strategy approaches onto those faces. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was a bit useful. And I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see you guys and bye-bye.